dear students here in this video we are going so what is principal quantum number principal quantum numbers it tells us about the quantization of energy quantization of energy so it's basically about that how the energy of an atom is quantized so the principal quantum number is represented by n so here uh, we uh, first we will take uh, i will tell you about the classical model of the uh, planetary motion and according to the uh, classical uh, model uh, of planetary motion around the sun planetary motion around sun so here the in the in the same way we have the electrons uh, revolving around the nucleus revolving around nucleus so uh, both are uh, these laws uh, both these are examples have the inverse square law that is here but the difference between them is that uh, the this electron motion of electron around the nucleus it is governed by the coulombic force which is equals to q1 q2 or r square and while the planetary motion here we have the gravitational force and here we have the inverse gravitational law which is uh, g m1 m2 over r square so here the force is the gravitational force uh, the force which governs the motion of planet around the sun is the gravitational but here we have columbic force and columbic force why it is the columbic force are which is in uh, electrical in nature which is electrical in nature because here the charges are involved because on uh, here that we have the electron which is negatively charged and we have the nucleus in nucleus we have the proton and neutron neutrons are the neutral particle but the protons have uh, a positively a positively charged particle so here the force of interaction between the nucleus and electron revolving around the nucleus is the of columbic nature so uh, this uh, this is the basic difference uh, between the two uh, motions the motion of planet around the sun and motion of electron around the sun uh, now uh, in the case of uh, planetary motion uh, planetary motions the two vol values that maintain the constant value at all the times are its momentum and energy so the two important quantity in the case of planetary motion are momentum and energy so uh, classically the total energy can have an, uh, any value but it will be a negative if the planet is trapped within the planetary system when it is negative its energy value is negative for the classical motion of planetary motion energy value is negative when it is negative when planet is trapped within the system trapped within the solar system so the trapped negative value represents the bound motion of planet uh, around the sun so same is the case in the case of uh, quantum mechanics uh, the energy of electron is the constant so uh, now we come to the motion of electron around the nucleus so here we will deal it quantum mechanically and in quantum mechanically here the motion uh, we can say that energy of electron is the constant energy of electron is uh, constant and when it is constant the only negative value that electron can have is the e n is equals to e1 over n square 
this is the only possible value that can electron can take when it revolve around the nucleus that is here it is the nucleus here that we have the different shells uh, where the electrons are revolving around the nucleus around uh, in these shells so uh, according to the quantum mechanics uh, that we have uh, these electrons have the constant value, specific value, specific constant value, whenever value of energy. So, when they are revolving around the nucleus within the same energy shell, within the same energy shells, and so this energy is equal to E n is equal to E1 over n square where E1 is the energy of electron in the first Bohr orbit and we know that it's equals to minus 13.6 electron volt. We can also write this equation minus E1 over n square is equals to minus uh, minus 13.6 electron volt over n square here. Uh, what is the n? Here n represents the principal quantum number. n is the principal quantum number and this quantum number can have the value n is equals to 1, 2, 3 up to so on. And here uh, we have already discussed in the Bohr model that uh, value of uh, these are the quantized orbit and now we comes to the quantization of energy how this principal quantum number explain the quantization of energy so uh, how the n represents the quant are uh, explain the quantization of energy quantization of energy so here the quantization of energy means that specific value of energy and to, uh, we know that there are the different shell for example n is equals to 1 n is equals to 2 n is equals to 3 in the Bohr radius and so here the each each shell corresponds to the different energy value for example this one is the nucleus and here this is the first shell which corresponds to n is equals to 1 and we have a second orbit which corresponds to n is equals to 2 and up to so on n is equals to 3 this one is the k shell l shell m shell so uh, this uh, value of n is equals to 1 principal quantum number 1 corresponds to the l shell which is the first level energy and then n is equals to corresponds to the second energy level n is equals to 3 corresponds to the fourth energy level in the third energy level and n is equals to 4 we have the fourth energy level so whenever the electron for example in the first Bohr orbit it has the specific value of energy uh, so as long as it is moving in this first Bohr orbit uh, this energy remains the constant so it has the quantized value of energy and so as long as it is moving in the first Bohr orbit so it remains in this energy level which corresponds to n is equals to 1 so when it is in the same way uh, the electron in the second Bohr orbit uh, it again has its own specific value of energy so in this this electron which lies in the in the second energy shell so this corresponds to the uh, it is which is higher in energy than n is equals to it this electron it has its own specific value of energy and this electron has its own specific value of energy so each electron in this way in the orbit have its own specific value of energy and this can be represented by equation e is equals to e1 over and square so n is the principal quantum number so it tells us about the quantization of energy so in this way we can say that the principal quantum number tells us 
explain the quantization of energy in the in, in an atom thanks for watching for more videos please subscribe our channel